States. It is a leech on the United States. We need them for nothing geopolitically. We are an energy independent country and if you look at North America between Mexico and Canada in the United States, we are the most energy rich place on earth. This is a despotic regime. They have imported Wahhabism, Islamic extremism, to every corner of the world. It was 15 of the 19 hijackers in 9-11 were Saudis. They are engaged in a war crime in Yemen. Hundreds of thousands have been killed with American weaponry. And in the same way that Paul Manafort's criminality was an absolute, utter, open secret in Washington, D.C., who this guy is is also an open secret. And there are few things more shameful than, one, an American president on his first foreign visit he goes to Saudi Arabia, and a place where yeah. we hail MBS and his progressivism because women can now drive a car right. alone. Uh, we need them for nothing. That's true. And when we look at this relationship and we look at the degree to which the Saudis with their money have corrupted the American system of government and you look at the shamefulness of his coast to coast tour with The Rock, I admire The Rock, <laughs> but it's time for Dwayne Johnson to repudiate him and stand up. Yes. And it's time for every PR agency in this country yes. that has an office in Riyadh to shut yes. it down and to come home. It's time for every lobbying firm to fire the Saudis. It's time for every state pension fund to divest, for every technology company, for every media company that has taken dirty Saudi money, send it back. This is a disgrace. This moment in time, what we've seen is the murder of a U.S. resident with American citizen children, a Washington Post columnist with a complicit president who has called journalists the enemy of the people. The American people should rise up against this, but we should put truth to the lie about who this guy is and what this regime is.